स्टार्ट बॉम्बे इज अ सिटी विद अ कॉस्मोपॉलिटन आउटलुक एंड इट इज अ हैप्पी को इंसिडेंस द डिस्कशन फोकसिंग अटेंशन ऑन वेरियस आस्पेक्ट ऑफ साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी विच हैव बियरिंग ऑन द वेलफेयर एंड वेल बींग ऑफ सोसाइटी हैव बीन ऑर्गेनाइज एट दिस ग्रेट मेट्रोपोलिस इट इज ग्रेटिफाइंग टू सी डिस्टिंग्विश्ड साइंटिस्ट फ्रॉम ऑल ओवर द वर्ल्ड गैदर्ड टूगेदर ऑन द ईव ऑफ द नाइंटीएथ बर्थ एनिवर्सरी ऑफ पंडित जवाहर लाल नेहरू इट इज अ फिटिंग ट्रिब्यूट टू वन ऑफ द ग्रेटेस्ट पर्सनैलिटीज ऑफ अवर टाइम्स एज अ स्टूडेंट आई वॉज इंस्पायर्ड बाय हिज कैरिज्मा एंड आइडियलिज्म to those of my generation he symbolized the india of our dreams i came into close contact with him when i was a member of the constituent assembly and a little later when i was invited by him to be a member of the working committee of the then indian national congress i was fortunate to have had the opportunity of working closely with this great nationalist says statesman in the exciting days following the advent of freedom a nobler soul so completely dedicated to the service of the country and its people is hard to find in the history of any nation that we had this great man to inspire us during the struggle for freedom and guide our destiny during the crucial post independence era is indeed a stroke of good fortune he had a sensitivity of mind which he combined so well with a rare delicacy of feeling and large generous impulses he was impatient at times but only because he wanted us to march faster towards the glorious future in which he believed there were few others in positions of authority at that time who could have visualized the role of science in national affairs as jawahar lal ji did he tried to mold our thought and action and place it on a progressive scientific dynamic and non communal basis within the framework of existing political and social institutions into which he breathed a new spirit and a new vitality he was the foremost among the pioneers in thinking of the progressive and purposeful advancement of science and technology in the country he was not only the pioneer of modern india but its architect and builder as well he provided an impetus to all modern concepts of nation building and provided the encouragement and moral support to those seeking to launch india on to the international scene he realized even before india became fro free that our economic regeneration and progress towards the modern age could not be achieved unless we could plan ahead for prosperity with his association and experience of pre independence planning he infused dynamism and imagination as chairman of the planning commission into the five year plans which have today brought us to the forefront among the developing countries of the world his innate optimism overcame the tremendous challenges and problems which beset india in the early years of our freedom to him planning was science in action in order to ensure that the benefits of planning would be spread 
far and wide over the country side he laid the firm foundations of democracy in the political life of the country pandit ji's belief in an international approach to problems and his liberalism won for india a place of high honor in world councils he believed that it was only through the transfer of science and technology on a mass scale into every aspect of life that we would be able to achieve the goals which we had set for ourselves while appreciating the value and importance of nuclear energy also realized that a thermonuclear war could easily destroy mankind and all moral values so dear to human hearts it was only to avert this catastrophe that his lone voice could be heard so often at international forums pleading for the lessening of tensions and for the promotion of gradual and mutual understanding between the peoples of the world he launched india into the modern age of advanced technology with an emphasis on basic heavy industries including the heavy engineering and machine building industries institutions for scientific research and the development of energy resources having laid these foundations for prosperity he sought to reach the accruing benefits to the people at large he believed in the decentralization of industries such decentralization would scatter the benefits of industrialization throughout the country and in due course help to develop and support medium and small scale industries covering a wide spectrum of industrial activity extending down to the village and cottage levels there has been no greater champion of decentralization than pandit ji he moved in parliament in 1958 a historical scientific policy resolution which pledged to secure for the people of india all the benefits that can accrue from the acquisition and application of scientific knowledge he patronized aspects of science and technology which go under the umbrella of scientific knowledge from nuclear science to agricultural science you have handsomely paid tribute to this great scientist states man on the eve of his 90th birth anniversary full stop over